Hey everyone and welcome to the Redefine FX YouTube channel. If you are completely new here, my name is Jesse and today I'll show you how to use the V-Ray Sun and Sky in 3ds Max. So you can go under Create Lights V-Ray and add a V-Ray Sun and just drag that out into your scene. Say yes to create the V-Ray Sky. Now when you render this out, it's gonna be too bright and you have two options. You can either lower the intensity of the sun and set it to something like 0.01 .01, or you can set this back to one and go under rendering environment and just add a V-Ray exposure control and re-render or reset the V-Ray IPR and that will adjust the brightness values to get something more manageable. And then you can either play with the camera settings to adjust how much light is allowed into the camera sensor. So you can adjust the F number, shutter speed or ISO. Or you can also still play with the intensity as well. So the brightness and color of the sun is automatic depending on its position. So if you are completely new to V-Ray, I would encourage you to play around with this and see how this works. It's very fun. Now just to show you a few more things, I want to add an infinite floor. So under standard V-Ray, let's add a V-Ray plane, just click. It will make an infinite floor for you and then you can go into the V-Ray material library and I'll just go under ground and select this sand, right click and say apply to selected objects. So now we have some nice sand floor. And I also want to add some palm tree so you can open the V-Ray Cosmos library and just search for palm and I'll just import this palm tree over here. So the reason I did that is because I want to show you the shadows and how they're influenced by the size of the sun. So if I just raise the sun much higher, um, we're getting some pretty sharp shadows. But if you increase the size of the sun, we're slowly going to see those shadows soften up until they are completely blurred when the sun is huge. So that's something I want you to be aware of. That that's how it works because what we want to do right now is actually make the sun much bigger to get that cool sunset look so maybe this is too big so i'll just do something a bit more realistic maybe something like this and just move it right above the horizon to get that nice sunset lighting so then you have this blend angle parameter and this will basically create a gradient between the horizon line and the sky so i'll just hide the floor so you can see how this works better so if I increase the blend angle, you can see how the gradient gets wider between the ground and the sky. So this is a nice way to sort of blend the ground into the sky. And you can also play with the horizon offset to control where the horizon line is. So this is very helpful for like infinite ocean scenes where you need a nice sort of just infinite horizon. And down here you can also make the sun invisible which also has a pretty cool look because it looks like um, there's just fog in the background and you can't really see um, the sun. So that looks pretty um, beautiful also. And as a final touch to make this even better, I added the V-Ray Aerial Perspective, which adds some fog in the environment that nicely blends the sun into the horizon. And I have a separate tutorial on the channel where we go over these settings. So the link to that is in the description. I really just wanted to show you the V-Ray Sun. It's pretty simple and the improved version of the Sun really works beautifully. You can see how it changes the lighting. Very fun to play with. So I would encourage you to play around with this. If you found this tutorial helpful, as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because I'll be uploading a lot more tutorials. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.